All right, Hercules, ESPN has released their list of 30 American players in Europe right now to keep an eye on looking ahead to the World Cup in Qatar this coming winter. Now, for our purposes today, we're going to focus on two. A couple guys at the top of the list and who have recently made moves and moves to the same club. I'm talking about Brendan Aronson and Tyler Adams. Let's start with Aronson. How do you feel he's fitting in through what you've seen so far of his first couple games at Leeds under Jesse Marsh? Fitting right in. Uh, he's an impactful player. Mr. Football Americas, if you uh -huh. will, this man is a running back king. What is running back? You know what it is. It's when you show up because you <laughs> scored a goal or an assist on this program. Mm -hmm. He seems to do that like literally every week. And even when he does not he's claiming he did all of the first game of the season, I don't think he touched it. Uh, this is a very impactful player. Uh, but on both ends of the field, you have players who are goal scorers. You have players who are playmakers. You have players who provide goals or assists. But that's what they do. They don't show up on the other side of the full field. Excuse me. They don't put in that honest effort. They don't put in that team uh, will, if you will. He does that. He's that type of player. Back and forth, he's what the coach needs, and he's also the type of player that can end up on the score sheet. He's just been that guy throughout the majority of his career. He's got two starts in his first two games under Jesse Marsh. Didn't go the full 90 in the opener. Came off, I think, in like the 85th, 86th minute. But he did get the full 90. Yeah. Uh, over the weekend. It's been a pretty good start for Leeds, right? Four points from their first two games. You got to think pretty good start under Jesse Marsh, which when you're Brendan Aronson, who is, remember, the big money American signing, getting off to a good start. I think you said it on Football Americas was going to be very key for him winning over the fans. And I think that's another important point to make about Brendan Aronson. He's winning over the fans there at Leeds. I know it's early days. He's also winning over the English pundits. Like, the guys on air, the guys who we always think are going to be the first to turn on the American player seem to really be liking this kid, Herc. Yeah, honesty. He's just an honest player. Mm. And when you talk about being honest in this sport, it's giving the same effort you do offensively as defensively, being a team player, being that type of guy that fits the system, that doesn't want all the accolades, doesn't want the glory all to himself. He's such a good player. But I like that you brought up what I mentioned about if things don't go well, they will mm -hmm. turn on the Americans. Listen, it's an easy narrative. It's an easy punching bag uh, for the press in the UK. It's good that they get off, got off to the right foot. It's good that the big money signing like Brendan Aronson has done the right things to win people over because things could change very quickly. So I mentioned Brendan Aronson didn't play the full 90 in the first two games of the season for Leeds. You know who did? It's Tyler Adams in the middle of the park. He's playing really well. What do you think about his start with Leeds under Jesse Marsh? There is no player that Jesse Marsh needs to really hit the ground running and play well like Tyler Adams. If Brendan Aronson doesn't go right, there are plenty of offensive players that it's not gone right for. But if Tyler Adams doesn't go right, in the central integral piece in the midfield, in the center of the park for, for Jesse Marsh, it can go right very quickly. And what I mean by this is they've been together in different places. They were together at Leipzig. It didn't go well. If it doesn't go well here, it will be. It didn't go well again for Jesse Marsh, for Tyler Adams, for this pairing. They trust each other. They rely on each other. He needs to come up big. And this is a player that, at least on the national team, for a long time we were saying maybe the most important player mm. on the roster, most important player on a team. That's not been the case for Tyler Adams over the course of the last 12 to 13 months. He needs to become that player again. Yeah, again, as far as fan response, I think early days, but it's been pretty good for Tyler Adams as well. The folks who are Leeds fans seem to really like his work ethic. You can usually track the amount of miles he runs in a game. It's going to be, or kilometers over in England. It's going to be at the top of the list, right? He's one of those guys that you see the work he's putting in, and I think for a club like Leeds, that's going to go a long way with the fans. It certainly has uh, over the first couple games. Big picture, though, the fact that there's not just 30, more than 30 American players right now in Europe that we have to keep an eye on ahead of this World Cup. Herc, like, go back to your days. Go back to 10 years before your playing days. That number is almost absurd to think about. It is. I'm a 1990, I'm sorry, 1982 year. Mm -hmm. That was the first year of the Bradenton Academy. I'm talking about Landon Donovan, Demarcus mm -hmm. Beasley, Gucci Anguayu, Kyle Becker, and those guys, the very first academy. Back then, you had Landon at Leverkusen. You had Gooch that went on after after Clemson. But that was it. You didn't have very many players playing abroad. Certainly not in the Premier League. Certainly not at that level. Certainly not Champions League. Certainly not at the same time. At such a young age, being impactful, impactful players, times have changed, Seb. Absolutely.
Lots of Americans right now crushing it in the European theater. At the very top of the list, Brendan Aronson and Tyler Adams for Leeds. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.